Hi guys, welcome to part three of my Christmas video. Just wanna throw a little disclaimer in like I've done the past two days saying I know it's been a rough year for a lot of people, very rough year for a lot of people and I'm fortunate to be in the position I'm in this year. And in these three videos, this three part series of my Christmas day, I just wanted to share my Christmas with you and it's meant to be fun and I hope you enjoy it. break into the gifts I bought for myself. Now, let me say this one thing. I did remember that this Swarovski bag is not from me, so I can't open it today. It is from a friend, and we're supposed to open those together at some point in the friend's backyard, socially distanced. So I have to wait to show you that, but I can open everything else. And when I asked you guys the other day what you wanted me to open first, the large Dior item was the most requested, the second most requested was the Tiffany box. So let's check that out. This is something that I have had my eye on for a year or two. I went to buy it maybe last Christmas and my store didn't have it. So this year when I was headed over to Louis Vuitton to get, forget what I was getting last time I was there, something for Yota, I believe, that she purchased. I was just picking it up for her and inspecting it. Before I went to the Galleria, I checked the Tiffany's website and they had this in stock at my store. So I went over there. I didn't want to go way across the mall from Louis Vuitton. I didn't want to go over there and spend more time you know, around people these days if they didn't have this. So I checked ahead of time and they did have it. And here it is. The Tiffany Windows book. So there are two versions of this book. There's this one, which if you want to get something from Tiffany's, but you don't want to get jewelry and you don't want to spend a lot, this is only about $30. It's not quite eight by 10, but it's close. It's like 10 by seven, maybe. There's also a huge one. They have one of these at my store and they have it out in the open where you can flip through it. And I mean, the cover is like this big. It's, it's big in my torso, really big and it, takes up this giant space where you can flip through it. Same book, just smaller. And that book is close to $1,000, I think, compared to 30. So I'm looking forward to this and I wanted to get it because, you know, I used to live in New York and I loved going over to Central Park and Fifth Avenue and I loved going into Tiffany's and looking around. So I'm familiar with their windows to some degree. This documents many of them. So I'll do a video on this at some point and do a little bit of a flip through to show you more about it, but I'm excited to have it and look through it. Okay, what's next, what's next? I think 
while we're on that book, let's open this Louis Vuitton item. I also have this box over here, but we already opened this. That is the inserts for the PM Agenda, the refill. This. It's another book. This one, in case you're wondering about prices of things, was about $50, smaller than the Tiffany book. And this is called The Spirit of Travel. And I can do a flip through on this one too at some point, but there you go. Louis Vuitton books are a great way to get something, especially as a gift to someone else or to yourself, uh, from Louis Vuitton without spending a ton of money. So I look forward to looking through this one too. I know less about that book than I do about the Tiffany one, or I would say more about it. Let's do the small Dior bag now. If you get the holiday packaging from Dior, this should come with it, and it's a piece of cardboard. On the back, it has this little thing you can scan. Hopefully that's in focus. Maybe you can scan it from the video. I don't think you even need the packaging. I think you can just scan it to get it, but it takes the design that they have on some of the ba bags and boxes and it animates it. It's really cool. Here is the item that I got for myself from Dior. This is a little notebook. It's not a book with stuff in it. It's just a notebook that I can write in. And it has their toil print with animals on it. And this one is in gray and they have a few other colors as well. I think there's like a red and a blue and a I don't know what else. But I showed you the tea from Dior yesterday, and I said if you want holiday packaging, if they still have it, that's one of the less expensive things you can get from Dior. This is another. It has gold foiling, and the tea and the notebook are both useful, which I appreciate. It's very lightweight, so this is something you could carry around in your purse. This one's maybe four by six inches or so. They also have a smaller notebook, probably this tall, and it, it might be about half the size of this book. So here's the cover. There's the end sheets. Oh, mine are not lined pages. I thought they were. Mine are blank pages. So I could use this as a little sketchbook. And each page says Dior at the bottom and there's also a ribbon bookmark. I did notice I was looking on the website. They didn't have as many available on the website anymore as they did a month ago. If there's one, oh, some of the, the smaller notebooks that were half the size, they had the stripe design. And again, they had black, maybe blue, and a red for sure. They also have some notebooks that have the holiday packaging designs on them. They're very pretty. There's a larger one and a smaller one. The smaller one is this size, the larger one's just a little bit bigger. Those are a little more expensive, but they're beautiful. But anyway, if you don't see what you're looking for on their website, I will put the information below for my sales associate at Dior and you can contact her, she's super helpful. I will also put Becca's information, she's my sales associate at Louis Vuitton. And if there's anything you're looking for from either store, um, I would hope they could help. Becca, I know for sure can, I've heard a lot of people have said they've been looking for something and she's been able to find it for them. I'm less familiar with my person at Dior, but she was super sweet and helpful with me. And she treated me like I was buying a $5,000 bag instead of tea in a notebook. <laughs> please feel free to reach out to either of them. They welcome your text messages. All right, I'm gonna open, I have three left over here. I have this Hermes. This is a Louis Vuitton item, a rare Louis Vuitton item that I'm excited about. And this is Givenchy. I'm gonna save those two for last. Those are sort of my big gifts to myself. I'm gonna open the Hermes here next, and then I'll open the two coach boxes behind me, which I'm also excited about because I haven't seen those in person at all. It's another porcelain piece from the Mosaic Platinum line. This is their soy dish. I have it upside down. There you go, this is their soy dish. It's about four inches in diameter there. And I love this because it has that entire mosaic with the horse and carriage that's in some of the Hermes stores, like on the floor when you walk in. I remember when I went to Hermes in New York, this was on the floor there. And I know that the mosaic design is inspired by tile work in the Hermes in France. So I got this to be a little trinket dish in my closet. Like if I take a pair of earrings or something off and I'm too lazy to put them away right away, I can just set them down in my little dish. Otherwise, it'll just be something to make my closet more beautiful. Starting with the big box. 
And this purchase was inspired in part by Yota Style. I have to say I'm not 100% convinced that I'm going to keep either of these, which is why I held on to the cardboard boxes to ship them back in case I need to, because I love the look of them, but I'm not sure if they will really work for me. We're gonna find out in another video. Right now I'm just unboxing. This is the Coach Emery bag. And I forget what they call this color. It doesn't say on the tag. But there you go, it's crossbody. It's very similar to the Hermes Evelyn, but I think it's more structured. I'm not gonna unwrap all the handle and everything right now and go through details. We'll do that in another video. Just revealing it for you today, but they recently, well, they still have a sale going on and they recently lowered the price of this bag and the bag behind me. So I jumped on them. I'd been on the fence about this one, but when the price went down, I thought, I'm gonna get it, and if I don't like it, I can always return it. So we shall see, we shall see. Small box. Is the Coach Emery 21? So it is 21 centimeters across. Let me just do a quick size comparison there quite a bit different. And this is not a bag that would be very practical for me, especially for everyday use, but I thought for quick errands or even for walking the dogs, this could be super handy and it's adorable. So I thought I'd give it a try. Exactly the same sentiment as the other. This one on sale, couldn't pass up the price because I was curious about it and I figured, well, I can always return it if I really don't like it and it doesn't work for me. The leathers are beautiful on these, but I will stop talking about them and get to the last two gifts because that's for a different video. All right, let's open the Louis Vuitton item next. Not a book this time. This is an SLG. It is a limited edition piece. It's a discontinued piece. It's a very hard to find piece. When you do find it, it tends to be way, way overpriced. I think that what this was priced at was overpriced but not as bad as I've seen it in other places. And I also got it on sale. I got this from Rebag, which I have linked below. It's one of the places that I trust to shop from for pre-loved items. And this is in brand new condition. They sometimes have like a 10% off sale. That's about all that they will ever do throughout the year. Maybe right before Black Friday, they had 20% off. Even with that, this was too expensive but I'd been sitting on it for a couple months. Actually, I think one of you told me about this item. I just bit the bullet on it because I knew that it was hard to find and even though this was too expensive for what it is, it was probably the best deal I was ever gonna find on it. So, here we go. Louis Vuitton Chapman Brothers luggage tag and this is the one with the rhinoceros. There are four different ones. There's a giraffe, the rhino, an elephant, and a lion. And then there's also a black and gray LVs. It has the LVs on the back here. It is spectacular. I love it. I have wanted the Rhino one because when I worked at the Houston Zoo or volunteered at the Houston Zoo, they had this event called Bowling for Rhinos, which was a fundraiser for rhinos. And I used to design the t-shirts and little posters and things for that. So. That's my connection to rhinos. And I know this artwork is, a lot of people hate it. Uh, I think you either hate it or love it. It's one of those things. I love it. And I have wanted this for a few years. So I finally picked it up and I'm very happy with it. And I was surprised when I first opened this because here's a Louis Vuitton luggage tag in a large size. You know, they come in small and large. Look at this Chapman Brothers tag in comparison. I had no idea it was so big. And it's from the men's line too. All right, we have only one more item. If you have stuck with me this long, you are awesome. Thank you for that. Let's see what's in here. This is another piece that I've wanted for a few years. And I wanted to get it in black because I had no idea this color existed. But as soon as I saw this color, I was like, oh, yes, please. That's mine. This is from a place I've never ordered from before called Rebones, another pre-loved site. And as I said, it is Givenchy. I like saying that, Givenchy. Tags on this one too, so I'm gonna try to pull it out where the tags aren't showing. And there she is. Look at that gorgeous bronze leather. Oh, 
the angels are singing. So this is the Pandora wristlet. It's just gorgeous. I love it. I'll do a video on this item too. It has two zippers. This bottom one is a flat pouch, just goes along the front there. And it has some authenticity cards and stuff inside. It's lined in fabric. And then the other zipper with the handle on it, that is the bulk of the bag. So I thought this would be great as a wristlet to go out with, but also great as an SLG inside of another bag. And it's goat's leather, which is probably my favorite leather. I love the texture of that. It has gold hardware. Look at that chain detail on the strap. It's just beautiful, I love it. So that's everything. That was a flippin' lot. Thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope to see you back here soon. I know it's a sad day that Vlogmas is over, but it's not really over because I also have more videos coming up in December. So stay tuned for those. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time. I hope that you and your loved ones are doing well, and I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye, and Merry Christmas.